Hey everyone, this is Dead Body Man. Um, I got a Royal Rumble match that I wanted to show you guys. Uh, I wanted to break it down. Right now I auto-filled it. The only card I changed was the Brock Lesnar because I'm actually working on Braun Strowman right now. I just got a couple stats left to finish up. Um, eight toughness, five speed, and nine charisma. In case you didn't know what I was talking about, right here, your total matches, those matches you want to play so you can max out like the power is here with 676. And you can see I put a couple tokens on power to bring it up another 338. Uh, just to reiterate, your special ability on the pro is worth more. The tokens are worth more as opposed to putting them on the individual stats. On the single cards, not the pros, but the single cards, the tokens on these stats right here are all worth more points overall as opposed to the ability. Once you pro them, the tokens are worth more on the pro as opposed to this. I just want to keep reiterating that so people are aware to get the most benefit out of the card that you're using on the single card, put all your tokens on the individual stats and on the pro, go ahead and max out the ability. Trust me, you'll get more points out of it. It's well worth it. Other than that, I want to get into this Royal Rumble match. It's getting close to the end and I'm in sixth place, but I never play against the players in my league. That's not how I play my PvP ever. I'm playing for the momentum slots. To me, the momentum slots are important. They're very important just to get that extra added boost, get that extra advantage over your opponent. Um, just to start off, I have two power and one speed and a charisma coming up. Uh, so I'm going to play one power. Of course, I'm going to play my stronger of the two powers. Uh, it came up as a toughness match. <clears throat> so I'm just going to go ahead and he played a shattered card. So I'm just going to keep playing uh, power and speed. I have a lot of, I have a lot of power and speed. So no. Okay. So there's my shattered card. I, I am going to play him for sure. Take that back. Unfortunately, he used a speed, so I have to stay away from my speed cards now. So I'm going to play my charisma at least, get at least that one. And I don't know if that was a pro that I just beat. Yep, so I just beat a pro. I don't usually do this, but I am going to do it. I'm going to use my toughness, which is my Dean Ambrose. I know it's a shattered pro, but I'm probably gonna win the match, so I'm gonna definitely do it. And again, I don't know if that was a pro or not. Yes, it was. So I just knocked out all of his shattered pros. They usually have as many as you do in PvP. If I have three shattered pros, they're gonna have three shattered pros. Uh, I'm gonna play my weakest speed. And I see I got a bunch of speed cards coming up. He's definitely gonna take this back because I had no stats left on any of my um, abilities. Uh, let's see, Roman, I could take that with anything. I have a lot of speed cards, so I don't want to be dumb and play my Bobby Roode. So I'll play my Ric Flair because he is actually of those two right there, the strongest. My Eddie Grail is the strongest Neon Pro that I have right now, though. So I have toughness, speed, charisma that I can play. Well, that's good because I'll play my speed, the weakest of the two. Elias. <laughs> I say weaker, but I mean, really, none of my cards are weak. Uh, I don't want to play that toughness. It's not worth it to give it up, but I do see a speed coming up. So I am going to play the Eddie Guerrero and get rid of that. That way I have a power and speed lined up, and then we'll see what the next card is coming up. It's a toughness. That's great. So I have a power, toughness, speed. Of course, I'm going to play my Shattered Pro. And now I have three options. He played a speed card. So now we're at the point where I don't want to play my speed card right now, but I'm definitely going to play my power and toughness. I only have the one toughness card besides um, my one of my Shattered Pros. I'm just going to play him. Might as well just get Braun Strowman. Really, he was the one I needed to play to get stats up. But uh, I'll play my power next.
and that leaves me with a power and two speeds. The best thing to do is to get rid of um, whatever you have two of when you start getting down to it. Of course, play the lower of the two. So I'm gonna play the speed Sean Michaels and <clears throat> I'm not too surprised that he played that. And to be honest, my Kalisto is actually my weakest Neon Pro. But I just have a feeling he's going to play a speed card. But because it says wait not network, I guess I don't really get a choice to play. The game's going to play it for me and probably boot me. I'm pretty sure it's going to boot me. I, I've been getting a lot of network errors. And of course, it comes back. And that's good. I have a power stat left, and um, I have a feeling I'm going to win because he doesn't have any Shattered Pros left. Let's see how it goes. I usually play a, a lot faster than this, but of course I wanted to play slower and explain what I was doing as I was doing it. So I got 84 points, 8 CP, which is awesome because when you play throughout the week, before you know it, you've built up that CP so much. and. Um, because I'm way, way beyond the gothic pros, and of course I get the network error. At that point, I won the match. I got the points, so it wasn't really that bad. Because those draft picks that I didn't use, they just saved up. So whatever game mode I go and play right now, those um, picks were are going to be with me. Which is actually good, because I can show you. Um, since I just saved some picks from Royal Rumble, I'm going to go to Team Road to Glory. And just so you know, we are a Neon Plus Plus team at the moment. And we're almost done with the event. <clears throat> but there's only three hours left. Um, just so you guys know, for where it says Team Points right here, uh, we have 2,734. To finish the Team Road to Glory event, you must complete the event with 4,200 team points, which is obviously if you have 10 people on the team, that is 420 points a person. It is possible. You guys definitely can do it. Uh, it is a hard grind when you get closer to the end. Because we're a Neon Plus Plus, we should be able to get this card. And once we start getting into the Daniel Bryan, then we're going to start getting into Shatter opponents where we can't go for the plus five. We're going to have to start dropping down. Right now, the plus five is Neon Plus Plus. And like I said, we are Neon Plus Plus. But there is a chance that you could back out and go back in and maybe get a Neon or neon plus opponent which is great because obviously if you're a neon plus plus team and you go against uh, neon or neon plus like right there's a neon plus so i'll go ahead and i'll go against them that means that we have a high chance of winning the match and maximizing the points for the team of course all right i'm going to play my support card and i always tell my team the most important cards to put in the team deck is the the support cards that will give you stats on two stats and will give those stats uh, to those two stats to the entire deck. Any of those minus uh, stats to one opponent or bo boost your one card a lot of st uh, stat points. To me, that's not beneficial. Beneficial would be helping out the entire team deck or uh, even your entire deck, of course. If you're in Road to Glory, I want a card that's going to boost all my cards. 69.19 on toughness and speed. And then, of course, I'll play the other one, 35.78 on toughness and speed. So, I mean, that's more important than just boosting one card. And, and to just assume that you know which card to play i mean no i don't like that I'd, i would rather always have my support cards that boost two uh stats to the entire deck those are the most important ones that you could possibly get not just to help yourself but to help the entire team out trust me i've been playing this game for a long time and i could tell you there's always a lot of tips and tricks and i mean i know there people say there's glitches but to be honest, I've never seen a glitch. 
one of my teammates did somehow during Thanksgiving when we were all going for the gothic gobbledygooker. I didn't even get one, and most of my team uh, did get a pro. But one of the guys on our team, I don't know what happened, but he made a pro of one, and when it was done, he had two gothic pro gobbledygookers. So, I mean, obviously that would be a glitch, but even after he restarted the game, he still had it. It didn't go away, and there was no way for him to lie and say that it happened and it didn't happen because it did happen. We could see it. It was in the deck, and it was clear as day. Um, right now, I'm just playing out my cards. Um, always try to keep track on the left side your wins. I'm winning right now 4-3. to three. Of course, I'm always going to play a perfect tag team and um, just try to keep it as close to possible. You don't want to get too far away because if you get into the last round and see right now it's tied four to four and now he's probably winning five to four. Oh, good i took that one okay so i'm winning five to four in the last round uh tag team i don't really have a choice you know it gives you what you, what it gives you you got to take what it gives you of course i won you can see i had neons uh and of course, I, I'm forced to play this, but because I'm up by two, even if I lost, I still would have been up by one. You know, I won. So, yeah, the most important thing to do, though, is try to get those support cards that have two stats that boost the entire deck. And if you see, I had 14 picks because the picks that I still had left over from PvP, from the Men's Royal Rumble it just carries over you can restart the game manually and it would do the same thing and this is good because i have a high chance of getting a one of those title bouts you know one of the doublers so instead of me getting plus five i'd be getting of course plus ten and there it is you know that's what i'm saying and this is just me personally once i reveal something in a spot i just have to hit that spot again because there has been so many times where I have found multiple cards that just keep popping up in that same spot. But um, I, I wouldn't really say I have a pattern, but that is like one of the key things that I always do. <laughs> one of the guys on our team, Corrupt, um, he has 279 because he, he played a plus three match. I didn't say anything to him about it because to me, it has happened before where you're playing so fast and you're not paying attention and uh, a plus one and a plus three might come up but not the plus five and you're just playing so fast you know your your initial reaction is just to hit the button right away and attack you know the bottom person not noticing that it was only a plus three if you get that plus one and plus three but not the plus five you can back out and go back in back out and go back in um it's always going to pop back up and that's what you do also back out go back in to make sure that you can get a lower tier team you don't you're not forced to play the team that it gives you initially you can back out and you know find a lower tier team that's key to winning all your matches you always want to win all your matches and um I already showed you Royal Rumble, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, show you my money in the bank. Let me go ahead and combine these just to make some room for some more cards. It's just one of my things I always check in. Um, I have enough room for 69 more cards. and I, I, I'm playing money in the bank, so you don't get any anyways. Again, money in the bank, it's... Uh, your opponents are generated by the computer. It's not like a, a real person uh, auto filled their deck and, and, and the computer picks one of your opponents like one of those people. It has nothing to do with another person. It's all AI generated and it's all pretty much based on whatever cards you have. So I always go for the platinum cases. The platinum cases are the plus five cases. Um, if you can finish all the way to the end, you get double. So, of course, getting five on each rung of the ladder, that'll give me 25 initially. And, of course, for finishing, it'll give me a times two, so I'll have 50 contracts. Uh, so that's what I was pretty much playing to point out is always play, uh, you know, the platinum cases. 
and I, I didn't start getting the consistent, you know, platinum cases on every rung of the ladder until I hit uh, Neon Plus. As soon as I hit Neon Plus, there it was. Um, it's just a matter of getting the right cards in there and balancing them. Like, just because I have three Shattered Pros doesn't mean I should put them in because I can't beat three Shattered Pros if all three of my Shattered Pros don't come up. You know, so I just put one Shattered Pro in because at least if, if I don't get my Shattered Pro, I can at least beat one Shattered Pro with you're about to see. Bam. This Braun Strowman needed stats boosted on him. So I'm going to get two stats boosted on him. We'll see in a second which stats uh, he was getting. He got power and speed. So that's good. Um, and then I'm going to finish off that Shattered Pro with the second gothic pro that i had i say gothic pro just because i only got the one shattered and technically the way his stats are he's technically my strongest gothic pro that's how i look at him and that's how i use him in my deck it is what it is he's like a gothic pro in a momentum slot so that's how i look at him as he's well worth it if you look at it He's right here in front of all my Gothic pros. You know, of course the Gothic pros are supposed to be stronger than the Shattered, but because that one is heroic, yeah, that Shattered heroic uh, can definitely beat out those cards. I will probably um, replace the rest of these Gothic pros once I get some more Neon pros. My Road to Glory right now is literally just 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 4, 8, 8, 9, 10, 11 cards that I'm actually leveling up. I need to level up all their stats. Uh, I don't know if you noticed when I was looking at my uh, cards over here. Oh, yeah. yeah. I got a lot of cards to pro. But, of course, the most focus is always on wild, and I can only do four at a time. I'm almost done with him. I just got eight toughness, four speed, nine charisma, and I can take him out and uh, replace him with any of these people right here and of course i got four females i keep track of them over here i got my three down here and there's the fourth one right there sasha uh this one i just hit autofill so i can see where i'm at as far as you know my cards i do have a lot of cards that need to be worked on and i'm getting to this point right now where there's really no point leveling up all of these gothic pros because i'm really not even focused on the gothic pros anymore um i just it's just my thing what keeps me playing this game the most is uh if i don't have any bouts left at least i can go to wild and i know i'm not just playing for nothing at least i'm playing leveling up some stats and you know just taking my time but in the meantime while i'm taking my time i start getting a lot of cards and you know like I'm not focusing on the SummerSlam 18s or anything below that, of course, but everything at the top I am. You know, I still got all these cards up here. I uh, just want to check, make sure I did put my sting in. I don't want to miss it, but yep, my sting's over there. All right, so that pretty much breaks it down, and I hope that helps a little bit. The only other thing I could say is in the team deck you know i like to tell people over and over and over the most important cards you know are your support cards and uh let's see corrupt i believe that's one of those support cards okay look at his top eight cards right here if you look at his support cards you see jimmy hart's only a SummerSlam 18 and this bob uh uh what is this i'm having a brain fart freddie blassie i almost called him classy freddie blassie okay so you wonder why are those two stronger than him okay well this power it, it just look at it power and toughness you lose your your okay minus eleven thousand sixty power and toughness on an opponent one opponent this guy is giving you 2565 speed and charisma to the entire deck that's why he's better and i do keep reiterating and telling my team 
you need to put in your better cards. And if you don't know what your better cards are, look at your top eight cards and you can see clearly it's not that shattered. So that shatter needs to come out of this team deck because really it's not helping the team. This right here, I hate to say it, but that's actually more helpful to the entire team than that other shattered card. It's very important, very important. Even this individual is extremely helpful. Why? Because it's to the entire deck. 7,956 toughness to everybody in the deck. That's important. It's not just one individual card. Even this one's a great card. Power and charisma to the entire deck. I know a lot of the times people see a card and they think, you know, hey, that's a great card, but, I, you know, I got to tell you, it seems like that's the only one in the team deck that, uh, the rest of them are good, real good. I wouldn't change the rest of them until they get better cards. Uh, other than that, that pretty much wraps it up. I'm going to go finish up my Royal Rumble and uh, Team Road to Glory. Unfortunately, I'm out of free bouts right now, so I just got to play what I got. And uh, I get to claim my... And again, people say they don't like to play king of the ring and guess what it's not even about playing it just autofill start it win or lose you get these draft picks these draft picks are like gold in this game now i just got 10 draft picks what do you think i'm gonna do i'm gonna go into team road to glory i'm gonna finish another match and i'm gonna use my win and those draft picks i just got and i'm probably gonna find another title bout and that's the process if you want to play pvp and make it to the draft board and then restart the game and go play a different game mode you can definitely do that it's definitely an option and trust me when you're looking for um doublers so you can get plus 10 instead of plus 5 it helps it helps a lot usually i'd be at the top but unfortunately yesterday all day and all night I had nothing but network errors I, I could not I could play a game I could get the win but it wouldn't register the win before it would boot me with a network error back to the home screen and I'd have to go back in and it, unfortunately in PvP if that happens once you uh, get booted you, you lose the bout in money in the bank or team road to glory or road to glory or ring domination if you get booted, you don't lose the bout, but it's sad that you have to do in the match again because you win, but it didn't register it before you made it to the draft board or the shard board or whatever. And it's really frustrating when you have to win a match and then get booted to the home screen and then have to do it again, hoping to win again. It's just time consuming. It's frustrating. I, I just wish there would be more um, solid network connectivity because I have great internet you know I'm not gonna lie right now I'm playing on my Wi-Fi and I'm outside but that's not a problem for me uh, obviously you've seen I have been playing it hasn't been an issue um, so yeah I'm gonna do a couple more videos uh, to help out uh, a couple more people don't forget to do your open challenges I still got to finish up my uh, wild games oh um, if you don't want to play wild necessarily to get your consecutive wins or whatever the open challenge requires, I have to get five wild game uh, wins in a row. You can do team battleground. You can uh, definitely play team battleground and um, it's considered wild. So if you happen to play a team that didn't charge and you just get all perfects yeah there's your consecutive wins there's your wild there's your open challenge uh completed right there so again there's always good trips uh tips and tricks and uh, let's see the bp store two days the rewards refresh i don't know why but i just have this feeling that when it does refresh the neon single you see underneath this is gothic pair and gothic single i have a feeling they're going to they're going to add 
maybe not the shattered single yet, but maybe the neon pro. If they do have the neon pair, I would imagine it would probably be <laughs> a lot higher than what the other ones are right now. I see the 18 and the 54 and the 20, so I can only imagine what the neon pair would be. You can see I got enough for a single, but I'm not really concerned about the singles. And, you know, there's really no point spending the BP for the simple fact that I got enough cards to level right now. I can't focus on leveling everything at once. So, I mean, it's not like cards aren't going to come to me. It's not like I needed the Tommaso Ciampa. If anything, I'd probably go for the Giant Platinum pack. Um, and if you notice down here, it's based on your top eight rarity. So I personally don't recommend opening up these Giant Platinum packs or even the uh, Open Challenge uh, 25 Ticket Challenge. I wouldn't open those either until based on your top eight rarity you get to a higher tier personally i'd wait till you get to shattered but i know people are probably um way lower than that just needing the cards so i mean at least wait till you get to neon because right now the best you can do is tighten the shattered um and tighten the neon that's great i mean even this one's tightened the neon but it's only one male and one in one enhancement of course you're going to wait for the one where you have a chance at one superstar male or female and one male and two enhancements i mean it's just worth it i think it takes like two and a half days for you know each one no big deal i'm very close to getting this fifth momentum slot like i said i'm never ever playing against my opponents and trust me i've gotten a lot of pms from uh, people that were in my league telling me to stop playing, just walk away, give up now, I have no chance. I, I just laugh at them because I've been playing this game for four years and I never play against the people in my league. I always play for these right here, the momentum.